Womp. Womp, womp, womp. Oh, hold on, just making sure. Everything's in order before I switch screens. Oh, so I'm stretching while talking and it just makes your voice sound the weirdest. Just my opinion. But hello. Hello, hello, everybody. Hello, hello. I'm gonna be clocking in very soon here. Hi. Heidi, 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 ho. I don't know what I'm saying, but I'm saying things. Um, anyways. Oh, the volume's a little too loud for my earballs. Hey, hey! <laughs> How is everyone? I hope we're doing good. Can we believe that in five days it's July? Absolutely wild. <laughs> Oh, you're quite lovely. That's good. Oh, you know who's quite lovely? My dog. <laughs> ah, sorry. Gotta get that in there whenever I can. I know, it blows my mind. It feels like I thought June was going by slow and, and then I was blindsided. Blindsided? Blindsided? Blind sighted by how quickly it came up. Yeah, peppers. We love animals. I know. Ugh. I know, I know, I know. I still have prep to do. I have a uh blah 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 blah. A karaoke stream on my YouTube channel on Friday this week. I'm excited, but I'm also nervous. I've been doing a lot of tests because I've never done a karaoke stream that wasn't like <laughs> private with just friends through like Google Meets or Discord. <laughs> Anyways, I think it'll be okay. But I'm gonna do a test, I think, sometime soon. Has to be soon. Anyways, we're gonna be playing Tavern Talk. Wop, 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 wop. It was long for you. I wish it felt a little longer for me. Then maybe I wouldn't feel like I've procrastinated so many things. Wop, <laughs> wop. Anyways, let's get going. Uh, but first, I want to show the, the wanted wall. So the reason I want to show the wanted wall is because one of my friends helped back this game. And I've been told they have a wanted poster. Here it is. <laughs> what? <laughs> Sup, Jubal? <laughs> yeah! This is, this is me uh, meta. Drunkenly summon frogs and toads into the establishment. I just love the... <laughs> <laughs> the picture it's I love it very much but it's cool seeing how many people help support you know the game I'm good how are you okay him play let's go I haven't touched this game at all yet since it came out I've been wanting to save it for a stream. Yeah, I haven't looked at the guest book. I don't know if the guest book is the same. I imagine so. But. Uh, what kind of barkeep am I going to be? Hmm. I'll be she, her. 
how are you liking Divinity 2? Once upon a time in a world far, far away, in a, a realm ruled by dragons and magic. Well, actually, it was this land specifically. Not that far away. Uh, let me start over. Once upon a time, somewhere in Gaia. Not that far away. There Fort Joy's rough, let me tell you. My tavern. I feel like I would play Divinity 2 more if Fort Joy wasn't such a slog. A place open to everybody. Even jackdaws, I suppose. But I'm not just your typical innkeeper. My drinks are infused with magic to aid ambitious adventurers on their quests. To make sure they always return victorious. Big shoes to fill, I know. Then again, what's the worst that could happen? What's the worst that could happen? Oh my gosh, can't complain. How about you, Fable? Ooh. She did just jinx me. 100%. <laughs> What's the worst that can happen? You don't say that. You don't say that. Never. Gosh, dang it. Okay, so their name is Fable. Yes, all fine and dandy. I, I had such an exciting day. Really, really exciting. Okay, well, are you gonna tell me? Did you go on an adventure? Even better, I took a walk around the grove and then I replanted a mushroom that had fallen over. Okay, Fable's this kind of person. Then I patiently waited for it to turn into a mushroom monster or a mushroom mimic. Maybe a gnome. <laughs> Did it? No. But I got to take another walk around the grove. How was it? Great! I got to see the same stones, the same trees. The same amaranthine hydra guarding the entrance to Avalon. The same moss. I even got to water the asters. They didn't really need it. But I was there, so... Sounds very exciting. Who am I kidding? My life is as exciting as a roasted nut. <laughs> hey, I like roasted nuts. They're delicious. I think they're greatly nutritious, too. Ah, ah, see, look, look, same mind, same mind. Nuts are healthy, very thrilling in sauces or as a snack. <laughs> oh, me and this innkeeper. One in the same. <gasps> Jubal. Oh, oh no. Fable's allergic. Oh, Oh, oh no. Oh. <laughs> Womp. I didn't know that. Oh, no worries. I mean, I never told you. Oh, okay. And hey, at least something would happen if I ate a nut. Just not something very fun. <gasps> Anaphylactic shock and all that. Does that count as an adventure? Oh, fable. What? No, I think that counts as a mistake. <laughs> so what you're saying is that you're missing some spice. Oh, well, I agree they're not a main course. 
but they're still delicious. Oh, no, no, no. I have a very sensitive stomach. I don't think chilies would help me much. Though I'm very good at growing phoenix chilies? I was talking about the spice in your life. <laughs> what an interesting character to start the game off with. There's no chili flakes, no garlic, no dragons. What do you want in life, Fable? Just a lot of salt. <laughs> I'm like a bland soup. Oh my word. So a classic case of boredom, I see. Do you know that feeling when nothing exciting is going on in your life? I mean, yeah. Ooh, salt shaker. <laughs> like, life isn't bad, but also not particularly fun. Have you tried? Ooh, now I get choices. Zest? Ooh, I hope they're not allergic to any, like, citrus. Huh? Drama, buzz, excitement, something fiery. Go to the theater or gala. Arrive in a hot air balloon. <laughs> a hot air balloon? Oh no, I'm sorry, Fable. Don't they fly up really high? Yes, I think that's the point. Ah, I'm afraid of heights. <laughs> end of people, end of actor. Oh my goodness, Fable. But apart from that, I'm trying. Oh, okay. I tried singing, but what is singing if not the telling of a tale? How can I sing of things if I never live through anything? What do you mean? Well, day in and day out, I live in the same green soup of routines. Sure, I have my forest and I look after it, but I want to get out there and see something. Like, for example... Listen to this song I started writing. Oh, I was, I was hoping there was actually going to be singing. <laughs> I can try. Just put her in a bubble. <laughs> I think, I think uh, Fable has put themselves in a bubble. Oh, how would this melody go? I wish to be a hero slaying mighty drakes. I wish to meet a pretty nymph resting by the lakes. Oh. I think that sounds like a good song opening. Let's give Fable some courage. Yes, it wasn't that bad. Are you a bard? Do you desire to be a bard? Uh, but nothing actually happens in it because all I do is sit around and wish for things to happen. Yeah. I don't even know what nymphs do. I've never met one. Taxes, maybe? <laughs> no, no, I don't need a song about taxes. <laughs> no, I don't think so. I would love to sing about the exciting, magical things I encounter. <gasps> but to be honest, the most exciting thing in my life is coming to your tavern and discovering new drinks. Woo! Yes, I gathered they were an elf. <gasps> Ranger class! <laughs> I hope a pleasant surprise, Jabal. <laughs> Arcana- The Hanged Man? Fable Verafina is a ranger taking care of the Ashen Grove. They're a sweet and gentle soul and a regular at the Wayfarer's Inn. They dream of being an adventurer, but are troubled by the severe anxiety about, well, everything really. Their nut allergy probably doesn't help. 
probably not. Ooh, I get rumors. I could get quests. I have a log. Okay. Recipes. Ingredients. Oh. <laughs> yes, yeah, start with the very the 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 second to last letter of the alphabet. A B C D E F G H I J K L M O P Q R S T V W X. Nope, third. <laughs> I fucked up. <laughs> I messed up. <laughs> uh Infusions? My map. Oh, will I get to like visit it? No, I don't think that makes sense. My tavern probably has to stay in the same spot. <sighs> oh yeah, I wouldn't mind a jingle. Give me a song about my drinks. I'll think of one. Can I mention nymphs? Sure, Fable. Oh. You'd think because I'm an educator, I'd have it memorized, but honestly, no. <laughs> oh, I finally get to do drinks! Oh, what's their usual? That means a swift strike, in case you forgot. I did. I did forget. Thank you. Thank you for the reminder, Fable. <laughs> it's my favorite. It always makes me feel like a feather light nymph floating on the waves of a sunny lake. Do you want to be with a nymph or be the nymph? both <laughs> but mostly i want a swift strike okay okay message received although although yeah i have a a, a similar trick for myself as well i was wondering I've been coming to your tavern for so long and I still don't know anything about how you make your drinks. Could you show me? Yes! <laughs> Can I say I used to be able to say it backwards. I've since lost that. It was, um... Uh... In high school, I remember for an English class, uh, on the on one of the tests that we had, an exam, I remember very vividly we could get extra points if we could do the whole alphabet backwards, but we'd have to say it um, in one go at the very end, like walk up and they would like check. And I remember practicing so much for that. So I did at one point, but I no longer do. What should I do? Do I need to put on an apron? Or summon a familiar? How do I summon a familiar? I don't know, Fable. Yeah, I would love to know. Just follow me. <gasps> Welcome to my drink mixing nook. Cool. So this is what it looks like back here. Hello, Andu. This is Andu. Careful, I haven't fed him yet. Oh. Where do we start? Great question. Well, usually I start by figuring out what my patrons want. What do my patrons want? To make sure I don't forget what they ordered, I take notes in my journal, okay? Let's have a look. Oh, you pinned my order. Okay. I did! If I want to look for specifics, I check my detailed notes. 
I do keep a log just in case. When I'm sure I know what was asked of me, I browse my recipes. Can't you just freehand mix something to see what sticks? That's a good question. No, I like to mix and match for a more varied result, but the right balance is crucial. So I stick to my recipes. Okay. When I've settled on one, I can use the chalk to draw it on the board. What if I pick the wrong one? I can erase it with the sponge or just pick a different recipe. My ingredients are stored in the five bottles on the right. <clears throat> okay. And there's, there's dexterity, intelligence, defense, strength, and charisma. I don't always say it that way. Uh, <laughs> I think dexterity sounds the tastiest. What? Okay. What would these stats taste like? You know what I mean? What would they, what would they, I'm curious if they would have a specific taste. I had a feeling you might say that. If I mess up or want to redo my drink for any other reason, I can simply feed my mistakes to Andy. <laughs> oh, okay. Once I'm done, I ring the bell to activate the primordial vortex. Ooh. Actually, I don't need to bore you with the magical details. <laughs> what? Just try, just try making a drink. You've got this. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I didn't think it was that funny, but I'm glad. I have to grab the chalk, don't I? Okay. Oh, can we? Oh! Oh my God! I didn't poke his eye, but I did pet him. And look how happy this buddy is. Oh, okay, it's worth it. Ooh, pop rocks for charisma. I can dig that. I would like to think, <laughs> I poke. <laughs> mm, dexterity, I think would be, hmm. Maybe something like a little sour. Not in like an awful way, but I feel like when I have sour things, uh, you know, you have like quick facial expressions or like a quick wince or something and dexterity is all about being fast. So maybe something a little sour. I know he's so cute. We'll pet him again. Anytime anyone wants Andu pet on screen, I'll do it. Okay, so I need Okay, can I look at... Ugh. Ha... Oh! Oh! Okay. Okay. Uh... Oh. Was that that was too far. You go and do <laughs> Oh Good buddy. Good boy. Oh my gosh, I love him. Ooh, why why would intelligence taste like strawberries? Okay, okay, okay. Um. <gasps> oh, I did it! I did it! I did it! <laughs> Oral stare. <laughs> oh, just because IDK. 
I mean, that's fair. That's fair. I think I think intelligence could be many things. <laughs> I feel like uh, constitution. May no, there's no con here. Okay, I think I did it. It looks ish. Well, it says I did it, so I'm gonna ring the bell. <gasps> I just vanished. Ooh. Wow, it actually does teleport. Of course it does. What did you think was happening? I thought you were just very good at sleight of hand. <laughs> I see. Well, give your creation a taste. Oh, that's nice. It's not what I usually get, but I made it all by myself, and that has to count for something. Thank you for showing me the ropes. You're welcome. Can I drink it? These adventures you dream of, aren't you scared of? Wait, what? <laughs> These adventures you dream of, aren't you scared they'd be the end of you? Maybe, but how would I know if I never try? Do you actually want to try? Well, yes, I want to tell great stories, but... But... Never mind. <gasps> what was for mysterious? Edgy person. Hello. Do you, do would you like something? How can I help you? A drink. For you. Talk, talk, talk. Right. What kind? Drinkable. <laughs> okay. Very specific. Thank you. How about a spoken heart? Some charisma couldn't hurt. Sure, whatever. <laughs> a broody berry! Oh! I like good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Okay. Oh no. Okay, here you go, Andu. Oh, I don't have to pour it all away. <laughs> you ran your persona, Chabal? Nice. Oh, I did it. Thank you, Andu. You're such a good guy. A good boy. Oh, I love you too. Oh, it's got... Look, I love the contrast of this drink and this edgy person. This should be digestible. Maybe even tasty. <laughs> back when you were, I believe we all had a persona like this back when we were young. When we are wee but a young teen. A tween even. Almost washes away the memories of that banshee haunting the lonesome lagoon at night. Whoa. And her bone shattering song of sorrow. <laughs> Almost. Rumor unlocked. A banshee is haunting the lonesome lagoon, wailing a song that will shatter your bones. Hopefully hyperbole. I'm gonna... Okay, I've read this. We'll put that there. All right. 
The brooding type, I see. <laughs> Uh, what are you thinking about, Fable? Just dreams. Yours or someone else's? Mine? Other people seem to have the courage to follow theirs. Why can't I be like that? Isn't that up to you? I wish it was. My brother says my dreams are a fool's errand. That I'm running away from where I belong. We are rangers, Fable. We belong to the woods, like the stream that ripples down the mountain. Or the birds and the trees. We keep the balance. It's what we're meant to do. And is that what you want to do? Yes. No, not really. I want to experience things outside the safe borders of the forest. I want to live a life so full of adventure, boredom will feel like bliss. I want to be brave and strong. And I want to sing songs about my adventures that make other people yearn for the same freedom. Of course. Of course, I could never leave the Ashen Grove behind forever. It's my home. But there's nothing wrong with going away from time to time, right? I mean, my brother looks after the grove, as well as my sisters. I think it'd be fine. I think it'd be fine without me. I don't know, blah, blah, blah. Then you should do what your heart desires. Ugh, let's stop aching then. Oh, I think so, yes. What if it's wrong to leave, though? What if destiny never meant for me to leave? What if it did? I'm asking so many good thinking questions. That would be a dream come true. Be your own genie, Fable. Your adventures start with you. Thank you, Innkeeper. You really are the most exciting part of my day. Aww. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, hello. Greetings, Traveler. Oh, that's the Innkeeper, sorry. <laughs> Greetings, Traveler. How may I help you? You own this establishment, Innkeep? Last time I checked. This game's very cute. Hm. With whom do I have the pleasure? The name's Carolyn. You can call me Care or Lynn. Couldn't care less. Nice to meet you, Care, Lynn. What can I do for you? Perhaps something to drink? You do the thing with the quests, right? S Gone like the wind. Couldn't care less. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, so they say, do you want one? You can have a look at my notice board. Ugh. No, no quest for me, but I may have one for you or your notice board. <gasps> Tell me more. Heard of a werewolf making trouble up in Tregorin, terrorizing farmers, tearing sheep apart. The whole program. <laughs> you got Carol. Oh, Coraline! Oh gosh, no. Please, <laughs> that movie. <laughs> A werewolf? That's new to me. Listen, me too. <sighs> Didn't see one in almost a decade. And that was far south in Erova? Erove. 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 Erova. Sometimes I do wish there was um, voice actors in certain games so I could pronounce fantasy names better. 
Been wondering if it's the same one just moving up like a nomad. I thought the werewolf hype died along with that one romance <laughs> novel. Ugh. You mean the one with the vampires? Is this a Twilight reference? This is a Twilight reference, right? I think so. Nah. That just splits satiety in two camps. Team werewolf or team vampire. Which one are you, Inkeep? I am team werewolf. Is it the fur or the pecs? Night. Neither? <laughs> oh, she said, they, I said, okay. Questionable experiences with the other camp more so. Ugh, I'm itching to ask for details. Don't. How about you? Wouldn't you like to know? Yes, that's, that's why I asked. Care, Lynn. Keep guessing. Ooh. Has anyone ever told you that you could pass as a werewolf? Oh, oh, Carolyn got mad. Yes, all the time, twice a day. <laughs> Only downside of looking like a wolf is getting mistaken for one. I see. Is that why you don't want to take care of the werewolf yourself? Yes. No. I'm just afraid he might look a little too much like my Uncle Dragon. <sighs> Would feel bad slaying that fella. You know? Hunched back, hairy, crooked teeth. Is that a werewolf or just Uncle Dragon? You can't tell. Same fate befell Aunt Olga. I'm sorry to hear that. Nah, that hag had it coming. Never fall behind your grooming schedule or before you know it, the next wannabe Van Helsing will strike you down with a silver arrow. Do the Van Helsings also hunt werewolves? Eh, don't know. Don't care enough to check. Either way, that southern werewolf, yeah? Right. Anything else that might help others get done with it rather swiftly? Fetch. Pardon me? Should they get into a dangerous situation, they'll just have to start playing fetch. <laughs> So is it just a dog? Just a normal wolf then? Like... That works? Any dog. Trust me. Good to know. Thanks, Care... Lynn. It's not that hard. Either Carolyn, Care, or Lynn. I'll go with Lynn. Aight, Chief. You got a name or is it just Inkeep? Just Inkeep. For now. Playing hard to get. I see. Well, Inkeep, then before I venture on, you've got a drink for me? Of course. What would you like? I'll take something powerful. Something with a whole lot of strength. Oh! Oh, she looks so happy! <laughs> ah! She's so cute! And don't you dare give me any of that watered-down muck instead. Okay. So she wants something... strong. Something powerful, something with a lot of strength. Okay. I feel like this one. Yeah, we'll do this one. This one! What the? Ha 
I can pet Andu for you. Anytime. Anytime anyone asks, I'll pet Andu. Okay, I think I did it. Ba -dum. <gasps> A drink with zero water, as requested. Ah, she's so nice looking. Oh. Not bad, just what I was craving. Thanks. Where will you head from here? Haps back west through the Ashen Grove. Got some business to take care of. What kind of business? Personal business. Care to elaborate? I mean, Lynn said personal. I don't think she would want to elaborate. Wait, um, hold on. Yeah, she, her. Okay. No. But you won't stop asking until I do, will ya? Nope. My cousin claims her crops are being stolen by undead snails. <laughs> Obviously, I'm pretty sure she's hallucinating. But I did hear some folks complaining about an undead uptick in the West, so... Might as well humor her. And make sure she hasn't turned into an undead snail herself. Oh, that was me. And make sure she hasn't turned into an undead snail herself. Something like that. It's odd, ain't it? Resurrecting the dead. It's certainly unconventional. That's one way to put it. I think there's not much use digging up the past. It's just going to open wounds, you stapled shut. Or eat your face. The past haunts everyone willing to listen. Hmm. Would you mind talking like a normal person? I ain't exactly up for philosophizing. You started this conversation. And I'm ending it. All right, well then. If you find any more rumors for me or need aid, don't shy away from coming back. I'm more of a lone wolf. Don't do groups, but sure. For more work, I'll be back. I'll be waiting. Speaking of rumors, you know how to turn them into proper quests, right? Don't want them to go to waste. I could use some help. Fine. I guess I've got a few minutes. Let me see your setup. This is where I start all the rumors I've collected. I also keep them written down in my journal so I don't forget. Smart. Think the best next step would be sorting the matching snippets on your quest page. Just drag them over and make sure they're all for the same quest. Otherwise, you'll end up confusing adventurers. Once you're done, select the quill of yours and it'll be written up. Got it? Got it! Thank you for your help, Lynn. Put it on my tab. <laughs> That's not how that works. Good night to you, too. <laughs> All right, then, let's assemble this quest. Okay. These all look like they match. The werewolf previously came. A werewolf, a werewolf secret weakness. Okay. I think this is it. Ooh, 
Ooh, okay, I did it. <gasps> oh, is this like the end of the day? I can totally give you a bourbon of intelligence on the rocks. I might make myself one. <laughs> Act one, the Wayfarer's Inn. Part two, prelude to bravery. The 58th of the wake. <gasps> Hi, Fable. What do you have there? I found this on your notice board. It says a werewolf is terrorizing Triggerin. Is that true? It is indeed. By the way, Twister, welcome. I got distracted. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Have you sent anyone after it yet? Maybe that hooded guy from yesterday? Not yet. What kind of hero are you? Um, looking for... One who knows their way around difficult terrain, woods even, probably one who is good with a bow. Hint, hint, wink, wink. One who tells me they want the quest. Ah, I am good with a bow. Yes, Fable. And I know my way around any woods. I know, Fable. <laughs> Pop off green, I'm sorry. Oh, I love that. That made me get a bit of an ego boost. Thank you. So far, it's very cute. And. And. Maybe I want the quest? Just maybe? No, no, not just maybe. Since yesterday, all I've been able to think about is you telling me to follow my heart. And then I step into your tavern and the quest practically jumps out at me and I think, hey, there's a start for an adventure. It's near a forest. You know forests, you live in a forest. And werewolves are basically just normal wolves, but slightly scarier, because they are also human. But you've talked to humans before. Oh my gosh, Fable. And you got silver arrows for your birthday last year, and they're just collecting dust in your room. And... 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 And I thought I could ask you if anyone had taken it yet? And then, I didn't think that far ahead. I see. Or rather, I did, but then I thought, what if I take the quest? Then I have to go on the quest. And I have to fight the werewolf, or talk to the werewolf, which is worse. <laughs> because what if the werewolf doesn't like me? And what if when I try to shoot it with my silver arrow, I miss and shoot a tree instead, and then the tree would be mad at me. But it wouldn't really matter because I'd be dead because of the werewolf. That took a very quick turn. So maybe I should put the quest back. Fable? Yes? Do you want me to tell you to take the quest? Maybe. I can't make this decision for you. Neither can I. Ah, decision fatigue, I know that well. Whenever I have to make a difficult decision, it's like I freeze in place. And suddenly I'm unable to move until someone makes the decision for me. Like, like, 
like a slime. A frozen slime. A frozen slime that can't move. I've met slimes less anxious than you. You've met slimes? My tavern is open to everyone. Oh, right. What do slimes drink? Water. More slime. Bones. You sell bones? Only to slimes. Ah, maybe you'll be able to add my bones to your menu soon. <laughs> oh my god! You'll just have to pick them up from the forest floor. I think I'd have a hard time convincing a werewolf to give up free bones. I also just like slimes. <laughs> Why are you so anxious, Fable? In general, <laughs> I think answering that would take up more time than we have to spare. About taking the quest. It seems to me that you want to take it, but you're trying to talk yourself out of it instead. Oh, well, I do want to go on the quest. Worlds may not be the best muses, but it would make a good start for a song, right? The prelude of an epic. Fable, the protector of the woods. The world. The worms. The worms? They seem like they need protecting. Oh, But every time I think about embarking on a quest... And I start to think more deeply about what might happen. All my bones start to shake and I feel dizzy. Thanks for stopping by, Jabal. I appreciate it. Have a good one. Is there something make you feel... Is there something making you feel like you might fail? Aside from the bloodthirsty werewolf? <sighs> we don't know what it's thirsty for. It might prefer orange juice. It might. Well, heroes have history, right? Uh, great feats they can look back on to prove their bravery. Inspirational adventures that remind them of the light in the dark. I have the opposite of that. Great mistakes and epic regrets. Like the Mary Morgan incident. Or my first encounter with the Amaranthian Hydra. Bah, bah, bah. Or the reason why nobody wants to spend time with me. Ooh. I kind of... Maybe this one. Yes, the Mary Morgan incident. Didn't you hear about that? Oh, thank Gaia where it didn't get around. It was my very first adventure. The chance to finally escape from the daily grind. What happened? An adventuring party was on their way, passing through the Ashen Grove. Due to the sylvan spirits, it gets fairly foggy at night. And the fog bears great danger to anyone who isn't acquainted with the spirits who call it home. So, they wanted guidance from a local ranger. A merchant up in Tregorin recommended me. I agreed to help, of course. My first adventure. Yay! I was so excited, but also very, very nervous. So, of course, it had to go wrong. I think it was the nerves. Why were you so nervous? <sighs> New people, seasoned adventures, one stronger than the next, all in shining armor and armed to the teeth. I wanted to leave a good impression, but my bad luck got in the way. How did it go wrong? They... I felt their condescending glares on my back as I walked them through the woods. Of course, I don't know whether they actually glared. But my fear got a hold of me and I led them astray. I must have blacked out. I've never got lost in the woods before. 
but this time I did. I couldn't see well, there was blood rushing in my ears, and I felt dizzy. So, for some stupid reason, I led them along a path no one should ever take. Past the riverbanks of the Shivermere. Home to the Mary Morgan. You know of the Mary Morgan? Yes? The wrathful spirit that's known to drown men? Not sure if she really differentiates between genders, though. For some stupid reason, I led them right into her arms. I got scared, and in the end, they had to save me. They fought the creature, and we finally found a way out when dawn broke. And the fog ebbed away. I couldn't look at them for the rest of the journey. And I silently bid my farewell when we reached the other side of the Ashen Grove. I was too embarrassed to speak. I'm sure I'm still a laughing stock of every one of their gatherings. How am I ever supposed to set foot in the adventuring world again? To be fair, it could have been worse. I could have led them right into the arms of the wyvern chimera that resides in the Quag Mangrove. They say it has a taste for adventurers. But you didn't. But I didn't. Why does no one want to spend time with you? Because I'm unlucky. Remember to hydrate. I'm doing that right now. Ow. I'm unlucky and whenever good things are supposed to happen, I ruin them. No matter how easy things might be, nothing seems easy enough for me. Imagine there's one nail sticking out in the whole kingdom. Everyone would pass by it except for me. I get caught on it and rip my coat. Did that happen once? Once? I wish it had just been once. It seems like my life only follows the path that's most embarrassing. Or dangerous. Or dangerously embarrassing. Course of, of ill luck follows me wherever I go, like an adventuring companion who secretly wants to kill you. No one wants to hang out with someone who naturally attracts bad things. You're too harsh on yourself, Fable. Am I? Just last week, I wanted to get... Just last week, I wanted to gather fresh flowers. The daffodils are blooming, and they make for a nice bouquet, you know? Bouquet, bouquet. Or hair accessories. They always calm my anxiety when I have them around. But, me being me, I confuse them with their evil twin, the weeping Amaryllis. Now, guess what I spent the whole day afterwards doing? Weeping? Like a baby! All day long when I plucked them, they released their spores, and I started crying. I suddenly felt all the sadness of the world rush over me. I've never been so heartbroken. <sighs> I'm sorry, that sounds horrible, Fable. It was! <sighs> Just between, between the tears and the sobs, I managed to make a tincture out of hogweed. It eased the pain, but the tears wouldn't stop until dawn. I'm so silly sometimes. Ooh, I get to click all of them. I wasn't sure. Well, just a day after it arrived to guard the portal to the dream plane Avalon, I wanted to be polite and neighborly, so I brought it some homemade biscuits. I burned them a little in the oven, but I thought since it has fire breath, it wouldn't mind. 
So I approached the Amaranthian Hydra. And I have this whole speech prepared about how I'm looking forward to having it around. And how it's green scales match my hat. But it was so tall and intimidating. I forgot all about what I wanted to say. So I just set down the biscuits and smiled awkwardly. It looked at my biscuits and then at me and it said, by the rivers of the star stands a man who reads the f firmament's past. Some things are as sturdy as the gilded ice. Some things as changing as Leviathan sea. All chimeras hate mice. All hydras love tea. I thought to myself, wow, the amaranthine hydra has given me a riddle. A quest. Maybe this shall be my first adventure. But I couldn't figure out the answer. So I left and I tried to solve the riddle for three days. I was too ashamed to step foot in front of it again, lest it know that I was not worthy of its wisdom. But then I couldn't take it anymore and I ran back, apologized and begged it for the answer. Turns out that's just how it speaks. It wanted tea. Did you get it some? Yes. Then you completed its quest. Three days late. If it had needed an antidote, it would have died. Wood halves are about as useful as an antidote when you haven't been poisoned. They change nothing. Adventures don't come tied up in neat, mistakeless bows. Your mistakes are part of your story, Fable. No matter how hard you try and shame yourself for them. Just try to do better in the future. That's all you can do. It's true. How do I do that? I don't know. You'll figure it out. I hope so. You seem to be very insecure. I think that's the biggest problem here. But how can I not be when everything I touch falls apart? You know that isn't true. <sighs> You're right. I'm a great gardener. Everything grows around me, but it seems to just get smaller. Except zucchinis. I can't figure out how to grow those. So in a way, I'm like a zucchini. I'm insecure because I don't know what I'm capable of. Interesting. You'll have to find that out then. Like on a quest, for example. Don't you think I'm a little underleveled? Do you think that will change by sitting around? I guess not. Someone has to help those people, right? What if I don't and then no one else comes around? What if I'm the only chance they got? But what if I'm not? What if there's someone better? The best thing you can do is to try to help them. So what if another adventurer swings by and they're able to make the situation better? Isn't that a good thing? Four hands are better than two, and who knows? You might even end up forming a party. Oh. And besides, if it's a perfect hero they want, they'll be waiting forever. I didn't think about it like that. Maybe I shouldn't decide to give up before I even try. After all, I am a very fast runner, so if I screw up, I can just run away real quick. <laughs> That's the spirit. Oh. Okay, I fable a great gardener and um, future hero, charmer of nymphs. I'm going to embark on this quest and save the villagers. And I shall return victorious. Did I do it right? 
Yes, good job. I leave the quest in your capable hands, brave adventurer. Would you like a drink to aid you on your journey? Oh, yes. Do you have something that can make me more nimble and quiet so that the werewolf won't see me coming? Something with a lot of dexterity. If I want to fight it, I'm going to need that surprise. Round advantage. Ah, surprise round. A little rare. Or maybe something that can help me with diplomacy? Perhaps it's just a hungry lost lichen after all and it only needs a pep talk and a hug. <laughs> maybe we could even be friends. But I would need something with a lot of charisma for that. I will leave the choice up to you. Just make sure you don't pick a random recipe. Please keep it to one of the abilities I asked for. Okay. Remember, your choice can influence my fate. It could change the entire outcome of this quest. But, but of course, I'm sure you're already aware of that. Sorry for my backseat mixing. <laughs> huh. Okay. Do I do something swift? Hmm. I feel like they're not the best with their words at times. Like they want to be. But I can't guarantee the wolf would want to talk. Um, let's go with... They're probably already a little dexterous if they're a ranger, so let's just make them more so. Can you give this girl your pet? Thank you, Andu. This should do it. Oh, that tastes great. Very brisk. Do you feel a little braver? No, not yet. But I feel faster, more agile, swifter with my bow, like my arrows could find any werewolf's heart. I'm sure the bravery will come later. I'm sure it will. Thank you. Uh, this drink gave me some hope and heart palpitations. <laughs> I think that's your anxiety. Maybe. <laughs> you got this, Fable. I'll try. Have some faith in yourself. Okay, um, I got this. Much better. Oh, I almost forgot. I, I was thinking about how much your words helped me yesterday. I have a lot of good words. And how I'd have to thank you properly if I ever did up taking a quest. So, so... I brought you some phoenix chilies from my garden. They seemed like something you might enjoy. They possess natural magical properties. If you plant them in the right soil, they can grow to be fire resistant. And consumption can pass that on to mortals like us? Exactly. I thought they might go well with your drinks. They will. Thank you, Fable. That's a very thoughtful gift. Since I'm waiting for another shipment of infusions in a few days, I'll take a look at them all together later. Uh, of course. I'm glad you like them. Maybe I'll order a drink with some next time. But first I have to complete my quest. I'll see you post-victory! I wonder how 
the fable's doing? Maybe they'll find some new ingredients for me. Although, probably not. I hope my shipment arrives soon. <gasps> Mysterious Edgelord. You again. Me again. And who are you? Dot, dot, dot. Someone who wants a drink. Okay, what kind? <laughs> drink. Yes, yes, I get it. Could you try to be more specific? That spoken heart one tasted fine. Thank you. Spoken heart, just for you. Maybe it will help you more with your words. Good attempt. Perfectly drinkable. Might make me come back for more. Might not. Thank you. Enjoy. So charming. La ta ta ti ta ti ta. <gasps> Two new people. Careful, you step on my cape. Ah, shush. Greetings, travelers. How may I help you? Ugh, not another one of those empty babblers. Been slimed. That's what they all say. Seems they've given you some dialogue options and most. That don't convince me just yet. <laughs> I'm sorry? I don't understand. Of course not. Probably forgot to give you enough intellect. Would surprise me if there actually was a brain inside that skull. I'm sure there is. Have you checked? No, but I can assure you I'm different from your average background character. <laughs> sure. I must agree, you look much more delicious than they usually do. Thank you, though I should let you know I'm not on the menu. Don't worry too much about him. He's a tad quirky. I see. That thing on your shoulder, is it quirky too? What thing? Ah, my cape. Your cape? That's not his cape. Ah, oh, that green fell on his shoulders and ooze or what's left of it. And the rest of it is on you? I pretty tough to clean off. May I ask how that happened? You just did. Maybe I can offer you to a drink in exchange for the story and your names? Ah, oh, yes, I love stories. Well then, may I have your name? No, but I shall tell it to you. I'm Sir Alphonse Louis Frederic Duquette du Song. It's long for Kyle. <laughs> Kyle? Kyle. Well, Kyle, what kind of drink can I offer you? 
Blood. Or if you're out, I would also settle for something that tastes like blood. Or looks like it. Red is my favorite color. I'll look for something with red in it. Something with red. I believe this is pretty red. Yeah, let's do this one. This one. Bum, 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 bum. It's got red. How's this for a replacement? A replacement for what? My cape? It's not very cape shaped. Doesn't taste like a cape either. I shall order a cloak one next time. And to whom may I offer the second drink? Rare frost grip. Nice to meet you. Yeah, yeah. Skip. <laughs> Just serve me something strong. Something that feels durable. Tough like a mountain. Or the caves of Ur. One of those frosted lagoons looks close enough. Coming right up. Oh my goodness. Too funny. getting better at this. Ba -ding! Same here. Why, oh, thank you, Andu. Such a good boy. A taste of earth just for you, valued customer number two. Oh, are you hitting the placeholder text? Let me try. I see you, you're many things, but not a liar. Tastes like a pile of rocks. Just how I like it. So, Rhea, Kyle, what about the ooze-filled story? Fine. Ah, guess you earned it. All right, picture me deep in the mountains of Dolvamir with my trusty axe and a good drink by me side. There I was, minding me own business, digging for the good stuff, you know? Hit a gold vein earlier and deemed myself the luckiest dwarf of all time. Had a real big old pile of gold. Then suddenly this big ooze comes along and slurp. Gone it was. This is a very boring story. Perhaps we could go looking for my cape now. It's nearly sunrise. And? The sun kills ye. Oh, right. Oh my gosh, Kyle. Did the ooze also eat the cape? Yes. No. Oh. Anyways, I wouldn't call myself the best warrior, but when the ooze slurped me gold, I had to do something. So I took my shovel and dug and hit and dug and hit until there was nothing left of the ooze anymore. Well, almost nothing. So did you dig out your gold? Silly food, she dug out me! And guess what he was clinging on to? The gold? Oh yes, a big old nugget. Should be enough to get me to Barovia. And perhaps it can even get me a dandy new cape. I don't think so, Sunshine. We had a deal. Ah, uh, we did? Please allow me to ask a question. What was that deal again? I get you to Barovia so you can participate in your fancy vampire banquet, and in return, I get the gold. But what about my cape? 
Where did you last see your... your... cape? Don't even bother, it's a lost cause. We looked everywhere on our way here. Fought cursed chests, many-eyed monstrosities, undead goons. And I started to wonder, where in this life did this man put his cape? Where everyone puts their cape? Do you know where I put me capes? Where? In a wardrobe! <laughs> This dwarven woman is so peeved. Oh. So you can wear it inside the wardrobe land? <laughs> what? No. Kyle, maybe we could find someone to retrieve your cape for you? <gasps> we could? Oh, phenomenal! I could put out a quest for you, but for that we need a little more information. Good luck with that. First, I need to know where you last saw your cape. Hmm, I was getting ready to go to the annual vampire banquet hosted by Lord Strut in Barovia. While getting dressed, I realized I couldn't find my cape. My first thought, of course I can't find it. The cape of invisibility has trained tricks on me. It's quite moody sometimes. Which is truly unfortunate when you want to wear it for an important event. We all know how important a fancy cape is for flaunting your vampire status. Of course. <laughs> then, what was the last vampire event you wore the cape to? My wedding. Your wedding? When I married my sweet Evelyn, I simply had to wear my most treasured cape to show how important she was to me. Evelyn? The vampiric Countess Evelyn? Residing in Marrow Castle? That would be her. Congratulations, are you still married? Oh, of course not. I hate her. Every inch of her body. Turns out she just wanted. Spit it out, leech. Oh. What? My cape! Ah, rats. Here we go again. My sweet Evelyn stole my cape! What now? That little, mean, vicious, beautiful beast. Her, that thief of thieves, robbed me of my most precious possession. Wouldn't that be your heart? No, I had that taken out centuries ago. But my cape, oh, I could never live without it. Oh, sweet, sweet Evelyn, how could you do this to me? I trusted her with all I had. That's rough, buddy. Perhaps, Innkeeper, that's your name, right? No. Oh, my deepest apologies. What is it then? I don't think it's time for that yet. Names are valuable currency after all. For some types, indeed. But you mustn't be so mysterious to a new friend. All my friends call me Innkeeper. Ah, in that case, I shall not disrespect your wishes. Well then, innkeeper, do you think there's a courageous avenger out there brave enough to retrieve my precious cape for me? I'm afraid that my sweetest Evelyn will kill me on sight if I ever set foot in her villa again. Yes, I think we can find an adventurer. We're setting up the search right now. <gasps> so where could a brave adventurer find Marrow Castle? Please tell me, Kyle. Deep past the abyss of dread, at the foot of a mountain range that looks like a witch's bosom, towers the mansion of my dear Evelyn. Queen of darkness, temptress of men, flame coat champion of 1467. The right hero should be able to outsmart her and escape with their life. But be wary. 
She bites. And she may be invisible now. All right, I think I've got everything I need. I'll write up a quest for you and I'm sure you'll have your cape back in no time. Oh, I hope so. That reminds me. Not another cursed monologue. And keep quickly another drink. I don't think I can make it through another tale of woe without some artificial stamina. <laughs> I need another lagoon. I'll see what I can do. Another one? Okie dokies. Bing. Bing. Ba ding. Thank you, buddy. Some liquid stamina for a valued guest. Humph, let me try. You got it right again. I might even last till day fall with this. Woo. Kyle, would you like another drink as well? No. I cannot drink now that I'm consumed with the thoughts of my love's betrayal. Oh, it ails me so. Everything ails ye. The whole way here you were complaining about having to walk. <laughs> my bad form doesn't work like it used to. I'm out of practice and the slime weighs heavily on my shoulders. And my back is all itchy. By the dragons, could it be because you insisted on sunbathing oh all right innkeeper <laughs> do you have a drink to protect me from the sun perchance something that would also moisturize my delicate skin i am afraid not oh that reminds me my aunt matilda used to harness the power of chimera's saliva for sun protection a chimera? A thing, a uh, beast made out of several animals. Got three heads and all, made by the dragons to guard Gaia. Likes to eat people for breakfast. I'm aware. I just didn't know its saliva could be so useful. Ah. Uh, if only I hadn't eaten that delectable bear chimera in the Scarlet Caves. I could have asked it for a sample of its saliva. I'm sure that would have gone over well. Actually, I might know where to find one. Really? Will you get it for me then? No. Oh. What? Why are you looking at me like that? Miss Frostcrypt. Dearest Rhea, perhaps we can alter our deal. Oh, nay, forget it. I ain't going. With nothing on me but a shovel and ooze, goop, I'd be no match for such a beast. No problem. I can make it another quest for my trusted board. <gasps> and when will it be done? Tell me, when can I walk among the mortals in the glistening sunlight once more? as soon as a fearless adventurer picks it up and succeeds. Especially that part. Splendid, did you hear that? A quest just for me. Let's leave it at two. Saying keep while we wait for someone to do this work for him, do you perhaps have a room or two? Possibly a room without sunlight? Wouldn't want Snow White to go up in flames over here. Sure thing. I've got a couple of barred up rooms that you can stay there. How much? You can pay when you leave. Grand. Seems like they gave you more personality than usual. Keep it up. Maybe it'll become a real girl one day. <laughs> Thank you. Enjoy your stay. You too, tasty creature. Oh my goodness. 
new quest. So I can only make a certain amount of quests per day. I get to feed him, sweet little boy. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Run for the hill. My shipment of infusions finally arrived this morning. I now have access to some fake crystals and frozen pine cones. Okay. Together with Fable's Phoenix chilies, I have three infusions now. I'll unpack them later when I have some time. I have a feeling they'll be of use soon. <gasps> it's Fable and Lynn. L listen, I can fix this. Just l let me pick up some chamomile tincture from my treehouse. Chamomile is proven to be great for healing wounds. You've done enough, little pal. I'll be good from here. Thanks. Oh no. Fable, Lynn, back so soon? Inkeep. Say, did you send this blighter after me? I told you she has nothing to do with any of this. It's my fault. My fault alone. So let me at least fix you up. You better keep your clumsy hands off of me. Ah! Now, now, how about we calm our spirits and a, a bit and you tell me what happened? <sighs> Misunderstanding, I suppose. Yes. The elf thought I was Uncle Dragon lookalike. The uncle that looks like a werewolf? Yes. No, it's a bit more complicated. It doesn't matter. What matters is the elf mistook me for a werewolf. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. Maybe, but, but, but not on purpose. I promise. It's just me and my bad luck. See, it happened again. Nothing ever goes right. Don't say that, Fable. Tell me what happened. We can start from the beginning. All right? Right. So, you sent me out to look for the werewolf in Trigorin. I felt agile and ready, uh, braver than I've ever felt before. The quest that I gave you, Inkeep. I recall, Lynn. Good. I have my shortcuts and trails that allow me to travel rather swiftly through the Ashen Grove. And... By early dusk, I reach the borders of Tregorin. The Ashen Grove things thins out around there. You cannot catch a glimpse of the wide fields and vineyards as well as, you know, see a farm or two. Truly idyllic, especially during sunset. There's one downside to that idyllic sunset, though. Ugh. 
it gets dark. Of course it does. And every tall, looming person in the dark is automatically a werewolf, huh? No, I, but every tall, looming person hunting down a farmer's sheep is. I... I... No, I didn't do that. Yes, you did. And the quest stated that was exactly what the werewolf would be doing. In my defense, I'm broke. We've all been there. So Lynn was busy hunting sheep, and in the shadows of dusk, you thought she must be the werewolf? Exactly. So... And then you needed not one, but three arrows? I'm swift with the bow. I figured. And I was preparing to fight, not bargain. So I shoot. Trigger happy. I can't get myself to aim right for the heart, so I aim for the shoulder. And suddenly the werewolf starts cursing and cussing words I've never heard before like a sailor. Or how I'd imagine a sailor would swear. I've never actually met one. You're telling me you've never heard beep before? Hey, what's going on? Beep, why is it censored? Youth protection. The age rating system is quite harsh. <laughs> Breaking the fourth wall. Ah. Uh. Anyways, I was watching my prey through the bushes and suddenly I felt a piercing pain in my shoulder. Not once, not twice, but three times. Of course I cussed and swore that beep hurt. <laughs> Never been so happy to have missed. So I turned around and got ready to lunge at the rascal who dared aim at me. An orange gleaming eye stared at me through the shadows, right into my soul. I, I thought that's it, it's over. I heard the bells of death ringing in my ears. I was done for and I hadn't even set out of the ashen grove. I stumbled backwards, tripped over a branch and crashed into a tree. Nah, that weren't the passing bells, Elfie. Actual bells from the chapel in town. M my name's Fable. Right. So they crashed into a tree, and the rustling of leaves cracked of branches and high-pitched yelp. I didn't yelp. Yes, you did. <sighs> it caught the attention of the actual culprit. He must have been on his way to tear apart yet another sheep. Or perhaps the farmer's heart this time after our rustling caught his attention. I, I heard the growling, such a deep guttural growl, it made my blood curdle. I swear I saw my life flash before my eyes. It sounded more like an empty stomach to me. A big empty stomach then. Either way, bad, very bad. A howl rang through the air when he emerged from the bushes. T tall and towering, glowing red eyes and fangs as big as my hand. Probably around eight feet high. Six feet. Max. Eight. Seeing the tall creature sent shivers down my spine. You said that already. No, I didn't. Seeing that tall creature sent shivers down my spine. And I was frozen. I was sure that the Mari Morgan incident would repeat itself. I'd stand there and watch everything as it happened, unable to move. He looked around and sniffed the air, and his eyes locked with mine. But then I remembered what you had told me. Werewolves love playing fetch. So I swiftly pushed away from the tree, p p picked a stick up from the ground, and the werewolf noticed my movement. I want them to as well. I think they'd be very charming together. 
but before it could lunge at me, I threw the stick into the bushes as far away from me as possible. I wanted to buy myself some time to adjust my bow, but... The stick somehow also influenced Carolyn, and both of them hurtled towards the bushes. <gasps> I agree. I agree that they do. And that's not all. Well, I couldn't help but run after that stick. I know something odd on the werewolf. Flannel rags. So I forgot about the stick and grabbed him by the throat. Flamming him, fla flamming, <laughs> slamming him against a tree. He wiggled and twisted like a worm, growling and barking right in my face. I stared him right in the eyes as I heard the elf approach from behind. They knocked an arrow on the bow. Don't, Carolyn said, and I lowered my bow hesitantly while she studied the werewolf's face. She growled, like she always does. <laughs> Uncle Dragon? She exclaimed, and I flinched. That uncle? Yeah, my darn uncle was in full werewolf transformation in front of me, right there. Acting like the biggest, wildest rascal in the whole world. I was joking when I told you that story, Innkeep. I wouldn't have thought the werewolf was actually my uncle. But this is exactly why I don't do cases involving lycanthropy. So how did you deal with him? Confronted him, of course. Knocked some sense into him, you know. We tied him to a tree so he wouldn't get any ideas before transforming back. I knew learning all those sailor knots was good for something. Oh. It's good for a lot more than that. Oh, uh, I mean... Either way, the truth was only half as exciting as figuring it out was. Apparently, he contracted lycanthropy at the annual family gathering. And since he grew short-tempered, he and his husband got into a lot of fights. So he ran away. I can understand that all too well. And of course, I can't kill Carolyn's uncle just because he's a werewolf. So you let him go. The elf knows a swamp witch that might have worked out a cure. Dropped him off there. No more tearing apart sheep for now. So all in all, you'd say the quest was a success? With a few obstacles attached. And someone getting hurt. Listen, the arrows themselves ain't the problem. The coat, though, that was expensive. I'm sorry, really? Ah, uh, don't worry about it. After all, we got rid of the lichen... For now. <sighs> Alfie even got you a keepsake. It's nothing, really. It's not even that interesting. I just thought... You thought? I thought it would be a nice reminder of my first successful quest. I like trinkets. What is it? Come on. Quit being shy. Ah! Oh, I like that Lynn can encourage Fable. Well, we played fetch with the stick afterwards, and uh, I thought I could bring it here. After Carolyn brought it back to me. <laughs> Sorry. A nice memory of sorts, you know? It is a nice memory. Thank you, Fable. I know just where to put it. <gasps> it showed up there. Right, uh, anyways. How about a drink to celebrate? They are so cute, Twister. I agree 100%. I told Carolyn you have a hand for mixing just the right thing for any situation. Absolutely. For the both of you? I'll pass. I'm going to run home quickly to get the 
chamomile tincture. See you later. Later. So, in keep. Surprise me with something that fits my brawn. By which, I mean the usual. Strength never gets old. Ah, they're adorable. They're adorable. Here, this should be to your liking. It is. Not bad, thanks. So, that little blighter. You raise him? Fable? Oh no. No, that's surprising. You two seem very close, like family. They're a regular. I see. Huh. <gasps> this still available? Yes! Great. I'm taking it. You still have arrows stuck in your shoulder. Tis but a scratch. Ah! Plus, Elfie has gave me one of their hippie selves. <sighs> Should be fine after. Alternatively, you could take a rest. Get some sleep, let your wounds heal, rid yourself of the ammunition decorating your body. Alternatively, you could mind your own business. I know what I can handle. If I don't move on to a proper quest without bumbling elves and useless relatives, I'll go insane sooner or later. You want that? No, at least not in my tavern. I worked really hard on that woodwork. Then do your job and let me take it. I mean, you already have. I'm just doing my job and, how do you call it, expressing appropriate concern? You did this woodwork yourself? Excellent transition. Yes, I did. I did all of it myself. Why? Couldn't get anyone to help? I had a very specific vision. And too much free time. Oh, that too. Boredom does things to you. One day you're bored, next your lady had a gloss wood. Do you know any carpentry? I know of carpentry end of boredom. That's exactly why I gotta take this quest. <sighs> I need to counteract the boredom before it makes my biceps shrink. <gasps> I don't think that's how that works. But boring is not what I'd call this quest in the slightest. Stealing from a chimera for a vampire sunscreen couldn't get more reckless than that. It could by taking Elfie along. Fair point. Please don't. I won't. I don't need another accidental piercing. So the saliva is for a vampire? Vampire sunscreen. Can't a vampire get their chimera goo themselves? It's a wyvern chimera. Vampires and fire don't mix too well. Also, if everyone just did their own quest, the quest economy would be in shambles. Suppose that'd be terrible for your business. Indeed. Have you ever encountered a chimera before? Oh, no, no, not a real one. Got me thinking, ain't it kind of blasphemous to steal from a draconic guardian? Depends. Are you religious? Yes, not. Then, no. Would it be if I was? Hmm, I don't think so. 
chimeras steal riches all the time, and they were created to be guardians by the protectors of their realms. So, stealing something to protect someone else seems in line with the doctrine. Hmm. Good thing you ain't a priest. You do a piss poor job. Thank you. Is blasphemy what you're most worried about? I ain't worried. Okay. Nervous? I ain't that either. Then what is it? Excitement, I suppose. Excitement. Don't laugh. I'm not laughing. I'm asking. Ugh. Yeah, excitement. I've never encountered a guardian before. And I've always sort of wanted to. Why haven't you? Ain't exactly easy to find one or to survive one. This seems like a great opportunity for you then. It is. What's it about guardians? It's less about the guardians and more about what created it. And maybe a little about the chimera. That's got a dragon head, right? Yes, modeled after its creator, I would guess. So let me rephrase that. What is it about dragons and chimeras with dragon heads? They're cool. Uh, also, when I was little, my Baba used to tell me bedtime stories about dragons every night. She was a great adventurer and encountered many of their creations on her journeys. Not sure if it's true, but she always claimed that she met each of the realm keepers themselves. Had a little keepsake for them all. My swords, one of those, passed it to me before she... Passed? Left. One day she was just gone. Thinks she wanted to spend her last moments somewhere else. Like to think she visited one of her dragons one last time. Maybe she's off stealing sheep? Too soon. That sword and her stories are all I have left of her. Going on this quest, it almost feels like I'm stepping into a memory of hers. Did she ever tell you about a wyvern chimera? No. It was the only kind she ever, ah, uh, she never encountered. Had quarrels with those feline ones. Different varieties of scales. Even a cow one, I think. But never found a wyvern one in all her years. Remember to stay hydrated, everybody. would have been nice to be able to tell her the story when I return. If I return. I'm sure you will. You can tell the story to me. I don't know if I make for a good baba, but I do enjoy a good tale. I'll think about it. You already got me talking too much. This is you talking too much? So, you like dragons? I'm gonna say I do. They're fascinating creatures. Very interesting. Very magical. They are fascinating and magical. Used to pretend I was one when I was little. Really wanted their magic and their wings. Oh, I love Lynn! All of these people are becoming really endearing. You can just ask them for their magic. Not sure about their wings. Ugh. I ain't a priest either. Besides, I'm a warrior. Don't do all that magic. Beep! Why not? I like my sword and my muscles. They're a good combo. And I don't need to rely on anyone. Not even dragons. A little help never hurt anybody. Last time someone tried to help me, they shot me with three arrows. They were trying to help you. They were trying to kill you. <laughs> ah, but alas, 
Does that mean you don't want to drink in order to pep you up, Lynn? Didn't say that. I see. That doesn't count as help? It's prepayment for me taking on your quest. Sure. You'll be happy to hear that I have some incredible f infusions to offer that could greatly help with your quest. Now that sounds unnecessarily complicated. Let's keep it simple. All right, what can I get you then? I reckon a little bit of a boost for this body couldn't hurt. Heard they're quick and toothy, so I'll need to be too hardy for its bite. Some defense might come in handy. Or something for the brain. Baba talked quite a lot about how much they enjoy a good ruse. Maybe I can outsmart it with the right play. But I need some intelligence for that. Won't be risking it all on one bad idea. Maybe you'd want the drink with an infusion? I just got to unpacking my shipments today. A what? Infusion. I use them to spice up my drinks. They grant you special abilities. Like Phoenix chilies. A little bit of one could make you fire resistant. That could be very useful in a fight. Sure. I'll try one. Woo! And on the topic of trickery... No, one is enough. Either you mix defense with your weird chilies, or you go heavy on the intelligence. Don't need any more of your fancy tricks. I don't care which one you pick. That's your job. Figure it out. <laughs> oh my god. Now that I have access to infusions, I have to be careful of how they interact with other ingredients. They might alter the drink in a way where I have to use different ingredients than usual. I should make sure to keep an eye on the coaster shape. On the coaster shape? So that I mix the correct recipe. Maybe I should even try adding an infusion first and adjusting the drink from there. Let's give it a try. Okay. doesn't really do much. Hmm. So that will take down her intelligence. This will take down her dexterity. This is where I'm getting the... Ah, oh, I'm learning things. Oh, did it not? Okay. Carl, Lynn, look at all these people. I did it. Look at that. Just popped in a chile. Figured it out. You're getting better. Thanks. 
I'm feeling tougher already and dangerously close to catching my fi catching fire myself. Oh no, Lynn. I think I could almost take a on a dragon like this. Let's stay grounded. How urgent is the sunscreen? Pretty urgent. The sun tends to not take a break, even for vampires. <laughs> Maybe he should sunbathe less. That might solve his problems. Might. But when has an easy solution ever been fun? Good point. I'll see what I can do. Maybe they got some mice in that mangrove. Good luck. Won't be needing it. What I do need is that chamomile salve. Gonna go look for that blighter. Go easy on them. Huh. Thank you. I'll be waiting to hear of your exploits upon your return. Goodbye. Positively adorable. <gasps> oh, this person's taken part of their hood down. Oh my gosh. Good evening to you too. <gasps> you took a quest. This quest. It wasn't here yesterday. That is correct. Uh, it seems dangerous. It is. And mysterious. Sure. Like me. <laughs> oh my god! You could be a little less mysterious by telling me your name. Ziffer. Did the wind carry you in? <laughs> no. My legs. I want that quest. Well, you can have it. No, not just literally, physically. Emotion, oh my God, Zephyr, you little weirdo. Um, I want to take on that quest, go to the castle to get the cape. I mean, yes. Huh. Well, no one has gone to the castle yet, so if someone would like to go, they would be welcome to. So you know of the castle? Yes? It seems strange. It is. A vampire lives there. I heard rumors, whisperings, of a strange fiendish woman residing there. What a coincidence. Has she ever frequented your tavern? No, not recently. But she has. Once. I had a vampire mixer. Interesting. So she was only here at night. Yes. Will you say she was unnaturally pa- uh, Dude, yes, she's a vampire. My god. My guy. But below that mask. Sure, yes, would guess she looks pretty dead below that. What kind of drink did she- She is a vampire! My dude! Interesting. You sell blood? Of course. Whose blood? That's- that's a good question. Did you hear about wolves avoiding the castle? Really? All of them? Yes. She has a lot of werewolf traps set up, but all animals seem to steer clear of Marrow Castle. They say its doors are always locked, so nothing can go inside or leave. And anything that tries to merges into her land in one way or another. As a grave, a pile of decorative bones, dirt feeding rotting flowers. They say death clings to her doorstep like an everlasting melody. Sounds like a strange place. Garnet, hi! Good to see you, bud! I got tomb for something still alive. Or for a goth. <laughs> goth or vampire, she seems to be a thief. Mm, it appears so. Do you not sympathize with that? I am doing well, thank you. Got my last week of the school year, and then I'm summer bound. Thievery is an honorable skill. 
but it must be performed in secret. Or you're not worth the coins you pocket. Mm. Also, silly man's cape is just plain rude. I suppose. Yeah. Uh, in Canada, the school year for elementary and high school goes from September till June. Mmm. I'm at least, I'm doing uh, elementary school, so we go to the very end. I think uh, for high school, as long as you've done your exams and stuff, you're not taken till the, the full end. Hello, Inkeep. It's me, ya boy. Zephyr, you edgy boy. It definitely sounds like you know what you're doing. Of course I do. I am one with the shadows and the wind. Gone before they even notice I'm there. Oh! Well. I wish I was out two weeks ago. <laughs> So you could easily swipe something else along with the cape, right? I wasn't sure when you said friends if you meant like uh, your friends' kids or something. But you fill teacher friends, that's cool. I'm sure they share interesting stories. I feel like all teachers have. What do you want, Zephyr? That must make it easy to go to all the, the live concerts and bands you like to go to. If some of your friends, all of your friends, sorry, don't have any kids, it makes it easy to stay up later. Ah, oh, got it. Zephyr, you are an interesting person. Ooh, Zephyr's gonna get me a trinket. serious what you think my dude dang Too traceable. Let's get this guy a drink. I heard your drinks inspire transformations of great magnitude. Allow you to dip into parts of yourself that you weren't previously aware of. Raise yourself up from your shadows. Say, what do you trade them for? Uh... Secrets. I feel like this guy's got secrets. I have many. Grant me one. I shall. I know this may come as a shock to you, but I was here before. Just yesterday. Dude, I... I know. You may not remember because you barely noticed me in the shadows. I was so stealthy, I spent hours just watching you from afar. That is... definitely a secret. You cleaned a lot of glasses, served everyone with a smile. You looked so worried after the adorable green one left. Like you thought they might trip straight into a monster's maw. And you're swift with your hands and fast with a knife. Alright. Enough secrets. 
You may have one of my renowned drinks. And some of my renowned infusions. Infusions? Intriguing. What vile magic do you have to offer? For your purposes, I think you could benefit from either some fake crystals or a frozen pine cone. The frozen pine cones have absorbed some of nature's icy properties. They can help you form a magical frost barrier that will hurt those trying to harm you. The fake crystals hail straight from Avalon, allegedly. If consumed, they'll turn you invisible eventually. And for a bit, the duration is a bit unpredictable. I've also got some Phoenix chilies, but I don't think those would be very useful for your situation. Interesting. So, what dark depths of yourself are you looking to explore? I fear that Lady Evelyn may be the undead nature, so I must be strong and vigorous if I may strike her heart before her fangs are near my neck. Thou, brother, though that does sound appealing. Strength I can do, and some frost armor should help with the fangs. Or, perhaps, the smarter route would be to evade her wrath entirely. To outstealth her and steal the cape right from under her pale nose, so that she may lie in the shame of having lost against me. I think such an approach would require a certain amount of dexterity, and some invisibility could help us stay unseen. Hmm. Ah, uh, let's make this guy. Let's let's make this. Let's uh, do. Do this one. Let's do this. Yes. Okay. So Okay. Let's give it a go. We haven't done this one yet. So it's gonna be cool. Oh. Did I? Oh, I have to do. A little bit less of that. Aha! Ding. Good for me. Garlic breath would be a good name. <laughs> I see. Did you hear about my new drink, the garlic breath? Ha. Good one. Mm. Tastes like, not garlic, but just a fearsome ha, to a vampire. Bah, 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 bah. Yeah, it's called Tavern Talk. A lot of it very seems themed after tabletop games for sure. Especially with some of the lingo. <laughs> There's also some like fourth wall breaking in it. It's pretty fun. Okay, Zephyr. You've got this, my dude. Be quiet as the wind and swift. Goodbye. I would say pray that the sun will carry me back to you. But my hopes do not lie with the realm keepers, and I shall be damned if they control my fate. Expect to see me again after the next sunfall. If you do not, speak of vengeance. Oh. I got information about this gentleman. An air echo. Hmm. 
Arcana is the moon. The edgy rogue. <gasps> oh, this one here? I can see it too. I, yeah, I get that vibe. The one on the, the, one on the right. Oh, I finished my day. Do do do. Nice. I didn't make any quests though. That's okay. Nice. I'm probably gonna call it here though. Uh, I have a bunch of adulting tasks to do, so unfortunately I can't do any longer than two two and a half ish hour stream but thank you everyone for stopping by garnet it was good to see you it's been a while twister thank you word thank you ro thank you uh a few other people already left but thank you everyone who stopped and chatted i hope you have a wonderful day and if you're available on friday 2 30 pst on my youtube channel i'll be doing a karaoke stream okay Anyways, have a good one. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye.